I try to do it once a day. Hey, how you doing? How's everything? How are you? I um, try to walk and interact with staff and let them know that I'm interested in the work that they're doing. How are you doing? To me, it's very important to walk, to speak to staff, to be accessible, to allow them to communicate to me things that we can improve in the facility. It starts with housekeeping. That's, that's how I see it. Everything falls on us first and then continues on. If we don't maintain the hospital as sanitized or as clean as possible, we're not keeping patients safe because they come to the hospital to get better. They come to the hospital to get treated and get healthy. It might not be noticeable, but it starts with us. It starts with housekeeping. This is a, a huge organization. We're talking about 30-odd thousand employees across 11 acute care facilities and six diagnostic and treatment centers and four long-term care facilities. But I can assure you that at HHC today, you could talk to a housekeeper, a chief financial officer, a clerk in admitting, and everyone will have some sensibility of patient safety, that awareness that that's why we're here. One of the things we've tried to do is to really fundamentally change the culture around patient safety. The culture has for too long been one of blame and shame. That if something goes wrong, if there's a medical error, there must be somebody who's at fault and somebody who should be punished. And that resulted in driving a lot of these issues underground. A lot of the culture change is about taking an entirely different approach. Tachycardic, she had low oxygen. People are speaking up. Any staff, any patient, anyone, if they see, they feel there is any concern about patient safety. It has become a part of our DNA. That's what patient safety does. Everybody's for patient safety. It's not about a risk management approach. It's about delivering the safest care for patients. It's a very, very powerful motivator. Ms. Weinberg, she really wanted to know what was going on from an environmental services point of view. And she said, if you see something, say something. You don't have to be afraid. They work with you. And that, to me, is just culture. Especially in our profession, we care for patients, and we want the best for the patient. So when I made an error, nice I first thought it was going to be a real bad thing for me, like everybody was going to start um, saying things to me. But instead, they really, they all appreciated that I came forward and we were able to work it out for the benefit of the institution and the benefit of the patient with the just culture and the support that I received from my co-workers and my head nurse. It came out to be a learning process for all of us. People are feeling free to come and say, you know what, I almost made a mistake. And they realize that revealing that that error almost occurred, if we look at the systems that led to that, actually make us a better organization. Patient safety means a lot. If when the patient comes in, they become our family. And we take care of them as if it were our families. So we encourage them, if they see something, to say something. And if at any time they feel unsafe, to speak up. There was an incident this morning where I said, I do not want to have an ID. And I expressed that to them. The fact that the doc, you know, the specialist came and then the nurse came. Because I, I had mentioned it to her before and she says, I'm going to check with your doctor because this doesn't look right. You know, they, they had an exchange about that and I did not need an ID. I feel very empowered as a patient speaking to the doctors and the nurses. Yes. And they make me feel that it's okay. I don't feel any strangeness or any hesitancy. It's been a great experience for me here. We, um, we all wash our hands. It's the most easy method that anyone can do to prevent illness. Mrs. Bolas is the hand-washing superhero of HHC, and that's the kind of relentless vigilance that it really takes. It's, it's a matter of um, 
sharing knowledge to help the public stay as healthy as possible. Believe me, if I've got health information, you're going to get it. Rub it in, both hands, top, bottom, between your fingers. This machine is a black light to teach people how to wash their hands appropriately. I think it's extremely effective because people don't realize the areas they miss. This was a great idea because it just it brought a lot of people to the table. Thank you. What better to have a member of our board of directors helping to educate patients out in the community about hand hygiene. Her 27 years as a nurse has really helped the board of directors because she brings that community perspective back to us. And it's only through that constant vigilance can we try and maximize the safety for our patients. And I had to tell the doctor, you forgot to wash your hands. He was a bit annoyed at me, but I said patients come first. We see them washing their hands all the time, and I really started washing my hands all the time. You have to take pride in what you do and keep in mind that everything starts with you. You are the one that keeps everything going in the hospital. That's what really gets me motivated. I think I'm saving people's lives. I really do.